Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wassalatu wassalamu ala syarifil anbiya wal mursalin wa ala alihi washabbihi ajmain. Alhamdulillah, uh, we are continuing our video and I've explained to you in the previous video of the nature of unity from the perspective of the self, the ummah, humanity, this earth and all its creatures and then the unity of the cosmos and how we can look at the higher level from the perspective of Islamic ontology that is the unity of the Godhood, that is Tawheed and understanding the concept of what is Zahir and what is Batin and the hierarchy of existence within uh, the metaphysics of Islam. Inshallah, we will have, we will go quite deep into it. It may be a, it may be a little bit philosophical but uh, we have to go deep into this because I want to excite a lot of you who do research on Islamic psychology especially, Islamic philosophy and understand the paradigm of which direction this ummah is going to go and survive beyond this 21st century and what is the outcome of the climate disaster if we can surpass that. If not, uh, whatever that we do will be futile but inshallah with the mercy the compassion and the grace and the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will overcome that challenge so I'll continue with ontology so that you can understand the perspective of the ontological paradigm that we have to face in the 21st century and why this, we are moving towards our own uh, existential destruction this whole civilization why it is that way I'm giving you some uh, understanding at a deeper philosophical level inshallah okay so we are doing our life coach training program as, as I mentioned to you we have the certified PIP life coach on Islamic motivation coaching counseling mentoring and what we need to do is to transform the ummah and now I'm at, I'm using a, a combination of consciousness research, mind, body, heart, cut research and so on to do inshallah over many videos, 200 over videos inshallah uh, a book, Islam Heart of Love, uh, where we integrate all the natural uh, question of which direction and how this ummah is going to thrive and excel in the 21st century. So I've explained to you how the basis of Islam, the heart of love from atheistic materialism of the current paradigm to a spiritual fullness of Iman, Islam and Ihsan, the heart of love, which I'm trying to draw upon. Eh? So we, we talk about the destruction or the degeneration of the Umar the last 500 years. We talk about the Wasatiya. In all the previous video you can go through. We talk about the unity of Muslims, how we can to work together, live together, share each other, love each other, and unity of humanity and the unity of humanity and diversity and the ontological paradigm that I'm going to talk today yeah? because I'm drawing you from the lower level slowly, philosophically uh, also from the perspective of Islamic psychology for you to understand where we stand vis-a-vis -vis the very various ontological paradigm that you see today so there are many ontological paradigms but I'm just sum summarizing it into three yeah? Uh, which you need to know. I'm not making you a philosopher. I'm, I'm neither I am a philosopher. I'm just a student of Islam and a student of psychology. And Alhamdulillah, we have our book, Post Islamic Psychology, a transcendent model to achieve peace, happiness, and success. I'm trying to integrate that into this. Eh? So, ontological paradigm, there are many, but for the last 300 years, we have this ontological materialism. So, materialism is the worldview, ontology is the truth, the truth based on. Materialism. Everything and anything is based on the material things. There's no such thing as consciousness. There's no such thing as consciousness outside your brain. There's something outside. Your brain. Everything is within your brain. Everything is material. This whole world is just a material thing. This whole universe is just a material thing. There is no externality to it. So it's just based on this whole idea of brute materialism. Eh? No purpose, no meaning, and the two greatest influencer will be Karl Marx is the father of communism socialism and the ism that up to today is still uh, terrible huh? and we have
fraud นะ fraudian uh, psychology of materialism and the basis of Karl Marx is the stomach the basis of Freudian psychology is sex so we have the two desire right Imam Ghazali talk about Rasulullah SAW talk about the two desire and Imam Ghazali talk about the two desire exactly the emphasis on materialism is filling your stomach and nothing more than that because it's just material you live and then you die there's no resurrection and then uh, go through your sexual pleasure because if you deprive yourself of sexual pleasure you can do anything and everything based on Freudian uh, psychology because it is a sexual deprivation that makes you mad so both these mad people these two mad people brought about the dominant worldview that is the last 300 years so what we see yes we see scientific progress in so far as material scientific progress but we have a degeneration in so far as the intrinsic understanding of the nature of life the nature of consciousness and uh, its relationship to the greater good so there is no meaning and purpose in life in ontological materialism and if we continue in this direction total destruction of human civilization within the 100 years is not what I say you go to IPCC International Panel for Climate Change United Nations what does their latest report? their latest report says that we have to change our whole civilizational structure based on fossil fuel to carbon neutral that means not carbon intensive but carbon neutral if not we will have mass starvation we have climate change or climate disaster or climate emergency we have food crop failure we have rising of the sea level and the co2 the carbon dioxide level in the whole atmosphere based on the ice core over the last 1 million 3 million years never exceed 280 parts per million the safe, safe limit according to IPC scientists is basically 350 part per million today we have 415 part per million at 415 part per million we are going to go to 500 part per million within 10 years at 500 part per million the whole destruction of this earth is going to take place because the overshoot of temperature the heat that is already built up in the ocean on the planet itself it is going to have its own life and will shoot beyond 2 degrees to 4 degrees to 8 degrees at that point all mammalian life that means we are mammal all mammalian life will be completely destroyed and we have not, no humanity left so this is the materialism the basis is that we exploit we destroy we pump CO2 who care less and up to today they are people who still deny people like the president of America Donald Trump uh, people who are involved in the fossil fuel industry oh this is nothing 415 parts per million oh, no problem so we have extreme temperature and now the Antarctic uh, is melting the Arctic is melting completely you're gonna, gonna have uh, within a short while an Arctic free zone ice free Arctic free ice-free zone in which Greenland will be exposed to the whole uh, climate uh, change and warming and so on so we are actually leading towards a full destruction of this human civilization the basis of that is the philosophical worldview of materialism all right and i've given you many videos before that because now i'm bringing you the philosophical concept eh? because i want you to draw upon and reflect can we continue that way can we live as just a uh, consumer destructive so-called scientific materialism invent something we invent fossil fuel yes alhamdulillah that's good but if we use it judiciously judiciously it will be not a problem but if we keep on pumping 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 build destroy pump destroy pump destroy we have all the technological capacity yet we are in denial we deny that we are destroying this earth we denying that that there is mass extinction of all species on this earth we are denying that finally we are going to destroy ourselves within a hundred years I just cannot imagine the madness and 
I feel the sadness of how this madness of materialism brings us closer towards our own existential destruction. Humanity as we know, civilization as we know, will just destroy itself in the 22nd century. This is not what I'm saying. You go back to science. Now we have the sciences. Uh, with the ice-free Arctic exposure to the extreme uh, absorption of heat in the sea will cause more melting and more melting at 500 parts per million if they study the ice core the sea level at that time is between 25 to 50 meters that means if 25 meters is the minimum we are talking about 75 feet of sea level rise that will inundate whole countries Bangladesh, uh, Shanghai, uh, Mom uh, Bombay, uh, New York, Florida, you name it everything will be underwater but that is only a small part of it the greatest part is how are you going to feed humanity the 7 billion there will be mass starvation to a level that you cannot imagine All right, I'm giving you this message not because I want to frighten you because this is the reality the ontological paradigm that we, we take as a dominant worldview this western ideological concept this communistic socialistic concept as a political force as a so-called uh, scientific paradigm is finally going to destroy ourselves so we have to shift so how are we going to shift i'm then going to explain to you about what are the ontological idealism that is another alternative and then we have to talk about the ontological, structural and evolutional aspect okay, which Islam falls into it and for example, the people of the book and people who are religious, they are coming to this so these two are not that bad alright so how are we going to then move from materialism to idealism to revelation and if we can draw upon that, then we can understand the nature of our existence where we bring about from the love of Allah to ourselves, the love of ourselves, the love of family, the love of humanity, the love of this cosmos, and how we can bring about the understanding of the unity of the cosmos from the perspective of the, the created thing, that means the Zahir, and from the perspective of the creator, the Batin, and how this is formulated within the ontology of Islam, inshallah, over the uh, more videos as we develop understanding of this ontology from this ontological materialism that's where you have the ep epistemology of materialism uh, this is where the whole worldview is based on and then the same thing with idealism and the same thing with revelation and how this is going to uh, play out uh, is something that inshallah with the grace the mercy and the love of Allah we can avoid this climate disaster that will engulf this world if we are not careful if we do not shift from materialism to idealism to God that is our only hope so inshallah I've given you an, a, a big a idea of ontology and how we Muslims can play a part in terms of shifting the worldview, the mindset from materialism back to the Godhood inshallah